very warm today. Like almost almost summer warm. Most pleasant indeed. Obviously alien babies. Obviously. Now that so many uh, trees have been starting to fall leaves, the undergrowth is visibly lighter. I mean, has more light, you know, illuminated, fluorescent. Those fungi weren't there uh, just just the other day, like two days ago. I, I watched that same tree, and uh, and I'm sure that there weren't as many fungi. Let's see if I can do comparison shots uh, with two days ago and today. Can't tell if the water levels is, are still dropping or if this is just sort of settling down now. Hello. Oh my, look at all the greens. This would be peat moss. When it's dry then it's uh, sometimes like almost paper white. But right now it's so lush and uh, juicy and, and, and etc etc. Ooh, if I had come to the woods with some foraging intentions. I might check these out. Speaking of landmarks, I am now passing these uh, ridiculously photogenic uh, pine forests. Also passing this shelter. I noticed the wood spinning on my left. I wonder if it's uh, one of those uh, uh, branching paths that was turning into the woods, or is that the swamp area that I know to be around here? Interesting. Oh, I get it. This is no swamp around there. It's the river itself making one of the bigger U-turns. I mean, I know it's gonna have to take another one, but I don't, I'm not sure when. Let's carry on. Also, we are starting to approach these more civilized and more touristy 
parts of woods. Well, compared to our part anyway. I don't actually intend to walk all the way to the uh, downstream dam itself. We'll see. It's, it's still quite far ahead, so... When the water is up, I mean, when the reservoir is full, then this area here is already wide enough to mostly work like a lake. Like right now you can actually hear the water uh, bubbling and... Uh, um, what's the water noise in English? I'm not even sure. Anyway, uh, when, the, when the water is up, then this area here is quite a swimming place actually. Because the water gets warm and all that. The terrain itself is changing as well, I mean, gradually, but here you can notice it some more. It's more um, sand dune than it is in our area. And uh, this uh, part of this might actually be uh, uh, not the ancient riverbed, I mean prehistoric riverbed, but also a prehistoric uh, lake bed, maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure. Another thing I'm noticing is that because of the big U-turn that I've taken now, uh, the day of the time of the day feels weird or odd because I'm used to knowing that when the sun is shining from above the woods uh, across the river, then it's morning-ish, but actually it's it's afternoon, so there's a little bit of um, dissonance going on here. Get yourself to get a brain. Huge like colonies always. We might even have corals. Oh, there's a car ahead. Well, bummer. Yep, things are suddenly getting less wild and more touristy and, and accessible. I'm noticing this one. Uh, big road coming into the woods and another one. I might uh, check them out when I uh, when I turn around. Unless I make it to the dam, in which case I'm just going to use the road proper. Also, up ahead, the next big U-turn. Mm -hmm. Nope, let them grow. Yeah, I'm noting this road as one possible extraction point later on. But for now, Onward! I don't even know which one's the official... Ah, I think the left one is the official hiking path. But since this is the area that I haven't featured in my walkabout videos before, I'm gonna stick to the bankside path. If I remember correctly, and I might not, those power lines there uh, are about halfway uh, from our home to the uh, downstream dam. So I think 
I think I'm gonna stop this walkabout here and start making my way back. And on the way back, I'm gonna examine those uh, uh, those paths or, or those roads that were coming in here. So, win-win, I guess. Oh my god, is that a derelict boat over there? That would be awesome. Although I think it's just something else looking like a derelict boat. Ooh, fascinating. This piece of uh, bluish wood uh, is actually imbued uh, with some fungus that has quite a bit of bioluminescence going on. Like uh, if you took one of these uh, bluish uh, wood bits uh, with you and put it into a dark room, it should glow. Awesome. This grass, on the other hand, clearly alien origins. Okay, I'm reaching back to the point where it's time to pick which path I'm gonna take from out of here. I'm guessing it, uh, it's a good practice to keep an eye on the uh, hiking path markings as well. So that's like the road proper-ish, going all, all the way through there. And this is the hiking path. Hmm. Well, then again, I know that uh, if I cut to the right in the right place, I can make my way to the path anyway. So, I'll stick to the markings for now. Welp. Next dilemma. But I want to see where this road goes and if it does indeed connect with the, um, with the path that I'm thinking of. So, I'm sticking with this one. If I get too tired, I'm going to consume my emergency protein shake thing. So, onward. <laughs> Arse on a tree. Huh. Oh well, I'm sticking with the river. Besides, this part of the road sticks to the river too. So, onward. Oh, well, I guess the dilemma sorted itself out. Also, this scene here is like uh, an illustration from children's book where there are mushrooms everywhere. Actually, I'm still sticking to the hiking path because while it's going up and downhill all the time it is also actually shorter because I don't have to take all that uh, round from over there and also since it's uh, visually more stimulating or well more diverse anyway it's I think it's it's gonna be easier to walk this one actually